you don't settle down, we're going to call immigration. <laughs> oh, you're in a good mood tonight. You have a nice Thanksgiving? Yeah. I believe you. That's the first time I've ever got a burping ovation coming out. <laughs> Where's Doc tonight, Tom? He's elsewhere. I don't know. <laughs> Why do I ask? <laughs> anyway, I hope you don't mind leftover jokes and tinfoil. It's, uh... <laughs> In my house, I don't call them leftovers. We call them Carson's Giblet Classics. <laughs> you want me to sing before Manilow comes out here? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday was a day for turkeys. Today is a day for ducks. Have you seen it out here? By the way, it's, we had a special show tonight. We had, this is really a star-studded show we have tonight. And uh, every star is a stud, by the way. We have... <laughs> Did you know our, uh, the Tonight Show is now in stereo? Yeah. Yeah, we're on stereo. And not only that, but tonight, Tommy Newsom will be colored in by computer. Did you have a good uh, Thanksgiving? Yes, Ed great. overdid it as usual on Thanksgiving. At 4 a.m. this morning, his heartburn set off all the smoke detectors in his house. <laughs> I, uh... I, I had a... My Thanksgiving, I had a, a Beverly Hills turkey. You, could, you couldn't tell how old the bird was because it had its neck done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and now, believe it or not, we are already in... The Christmas season. Right. First big shopping day. I don't put up ornaments uh, at my beach house. What I do, I, I have a sign out on the lawn that says, see the display in front of previous home. <laughs> so, <laughs> so no, no. <laughs> anyway. anyway, they are already, they're already on television, Christmas specials. Yeah. The first one is tomorrow. It's going to be the Reagan family Christmas and it was taped at the ranch and the high point is Casper Weinberger singing Walking in a Nuclear Winter Land <laughs> Remember you young ladies when you were kids you get a doll that was like a rag doll didn't have any moving parts it was, just, it was just a nice doll they don't have those anymore they got weird kind of dolls have you seen the new Christmas Joan Collins doll? <laughs> It does not need batteries. It's always turned on. <laughs> they have the new Rambo doll. You, uh, you wind it up and it plays Russian roulette with the Charles Bronson doll. <laughs> and check out, check out the Trapper John MD doll. You wind it up and it cures the G.I. Joe, uh, Joe doll with a, a shot of penicillin. <laughs> If I could have got the joke out, we would have had something. <laughs> There's a little show business news. Uh, how many of you have watched the show Alfred Hitchcock Presents? It's now on the air. <laughs> show was picked up for nine more episodes. And to celebrate, Hitchcock invited the cast and crew <laughs> to Forest Lawn for a tent party. <laughs> but the big news, I guess the show is coming up this week. Raymond Burr. Yeah. is returning as Perry Mason in a television movie. Now, Raymond has been on the show, and he's a fine actor. Have you seen Raymond lately? He's gained a couple of pounds. Uh, in this new film, he's referred to as Perry, the real refrigerator Mason. <laughs> in one scene, he's standing in front of the courthouse, and he's arrested for unlawful assembly. <laughs> Did I read in the paper of somebody's birthday today? I don't believe. Dick Clark's birthday? Yes. Somebody said he is 60th birthday? Is that can't be true, no, can 56. It? 56? Yeah. Even 56? I know. He's got an 8 by 10 in the attic that's turning old. <laughs> anyway, tonight we uh, have got a lot of uh, fine talent on this show. Of course, Mr. Barry Manilow is here. Chevy Chase and Dan Aykroyd. And last, 
And last but certainly not least, Mr. David Letterman. David. David really didn't want to come out from New York, but he couldn't pass up that $79 Thanksgiving Day fair. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for coming. We've got a great night ahead of us, and we'll be right back. First guest, of course, you all know he's a super talent. Barry sold over 50 million records. Uh, has one out title, this one right here, simply Manolo. And as you probably know, he makes his um, acting debut in a, in a TV film called Copacabana, which is based, of course, on his 1978 hit single. And that's a movie featuring his music, which airs on, as they say, another network on December the 3rd. Would you welcome, please, Barry Manolo. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I like to get a nice crowd here. <laughs> 
Yeah, folks, look. Someday I hope I get a reception like that on the monologue. <laughs> That's dynamite stuff. Thanks. Really. I do want to thank our, our, our lighting crew has been here since early this right? morning and our sound crew and the stage crew setting up and everything. It looks wonderful on, on screen. Ooh, looks beautiful. And Bobby uh, Quinn did a beautiful job. Thank you, guys, all of you. That was well done. Let me do this first. We'll be back. Stay where you are. We'll be right back. It's been about 14, 15 months since you were here. You were right. starting on tour. So, I, I, and and two still? days ago, no, two days ago we ended the tour, so that's that why tour? I came back. We couldn't figure out any more places to play. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we came me. back. You said, Amara, you're leaving for Japan? Yeah. Well, I'm, yes, I'm leaving for Japan tomorrow. I just have a little tail end of this tour. I'm just going to do a couple of TV shows. Yeah. I did a duet with one of the superstars in Japan on one of the, on this In Search of Love, the song I, I oh, opened really? with. Yeah, in Japan it comes out, out as a duet with the man named Hideki Seijo. Yeah. And so I'm going to uh, sing it with him. I'm surprised Julio Iglesias hasn't got you yet. Really? Yeah, for, for a duet or something. Yeah, who knows? Uh, so let's talk about the television movie. It's interesting because I've read reviews. Most of them have been very good. But you said that you thought the critics, the television critics, were out to, or were going to trash it yeah. or something. Or, I, nobody's or more surprised than I am yeah. to read Why did these... you feel that way? Well, you know, I've, they've just, they've, they've sort of beat me up over the years, you know. <laughs> I, so, I mean, I don't, not that we, uh, any of us pay attention to it, but I just sort of expected it. I sort of went, yeah. okay, I'm ready, come on. <laughs> you know, and I opened the papers and they're really right. being real nice and very complimentary. Well, the movie is great, yeah. but I didn't think that I would uh, that they would cut the uh, hair a little that. short. Is that for the, for I the cut picture? the hair short for the movie, right? And uh, and I and I liked it, and I liked it, so I let, I let it. I let you it. made up of the truth. Too. This is, I think, there hasn't been a really a, a musical made for television in many, many years. Yeah, well, not like this. This one is, is specifically made for TV, and it's, it's uh, taken uh, after those big Hollywood extravaganzas like Singing Sing in the Rain and Easter right. Parade. But, you know, the, the, big, um, the big miracle about this movie was that we still did it uh, in the time it takes to do a movie of the week, which is 22 days. Yeah, people forget that. Uh, well... This was an amazing thing. Uh, this should have taken six months to a year. Yeah. Uh, the kind of production numbers that are in this movie. Really I look forward to it. Yeah. You, uh, you've been studying acting. Yeah. Yes, I've been studying yeah. acting. Yeah. Were you comfortable the first day you shot it? Um, well, I was, I was comfortable acting. I just, well, I, it was just quite amazing. Uh, you're never prepared for the day they say action. Yeah. And that there are all the technicians around you and extras and they, you're just, you know, your heart yeah. is going uh, that fast. But you know, the first, the th they don't do it in sequence. They don't film movies in sequence, which I, I'd always heard about, but it sort of throws you because the first day I had this nice little scene with uh, Lola, the uh, Annette right. O'Toole, the place, and the next day they shot me. I die at the end of the movie. Yeah, but you so, shot that out of suit. Oh, it's only a movie. Yeah. <laughs> But, so then, uh, and uh, and the hardest part was the the first day and the second day. The first day was was getting over the the, right. the, the fright, and the second day was uh, was dying. I died all day Tuesday. You know? Yeah, <laughs> I know the feeling. Yeah, <laughs> we all have those days. You want to do this first? No, we can go ahead. If you'd like to do the number or this, whichever you think. I don't know. You want to get the commercial out of the way first? Why don't we do that? And then you're going to do something from uh, you're going to do something from the TV. Uh, don't pay t no attention to that man at all. I have no idea who he is. <laughs> been sitting there for months and I don't know who he is. We'll do this, then we'll come back and do the number. From the picture. There we are. song you're going to do is from the uh, it's from, it's from the TV movie from yeah Copacabana. it's the it's the it's the song that um, uh, in the movie t uh, Tony the character I play right. uh, he gets discovered he gets his big break at the Copacabana and this is the song that you play kid from Brooklyn I, yes you better yep <laughs> it's all yours <laughs> okay. you
I'm just a lucky guy Sweet heaven, I'm in love again Sweet heaven, I'm in love again You came along, now what can I do? I only wanna be with you Sweet heaven, here I go again I'm hooked from head to toe That's right out of the old music. That's the show business. That's it. Which there's no business yeah, like. That's it. Uh, we do this? All right, then Homer and Jethro will join us. <laughs> hey, where are you? <laughs> okay, before... Your movie is on uh, December 3rd on another network, and I want to take a minute before Dan and Chevy come out to plug something I am involved with in a way because my production company did it. Uh, on NBC this, uh, this Monday night at May to 11, we did the uh, John and Yoko Ono story, which is the story of John Lennon and Yoko Ono. It's not so much the story, although there's a lot of great Beatle music in it. It really has to do with their relationship when they met in London and their last 14 years together. And the actor who plays John Lennon is remarkable. His name is Mark McCann. And in some of the scenes, it is... Very eerie. I've seen some of the problems. Yeah, it is really absolutely. Eerie. And the other, the young lady who plays Yoko is Kimiya, uh, Kimiyori. So anyway, that's 8 o'clock on NBC Monday night, and I, we're kind of proud of it, so we'll Great. hope you watch it. Now, my next two guests, you all know, they were two of the original members of Saturday Night Live, and they're co-starring in a new movie called Spies Like Us, and they're here to unashamedly plug it. <laughs> it opens across the country, this country, uh, Friday, December the 6th. 
Would you welcome in any order you like Dan Aykroyd and Chevy Chase? Oh, Chevy. Pay yeah. no attention to him. It is always nice to see in this cutthroat uh, business called show business, there's no real competition. No, absolutely not. To see who gets Sherlock. to sit in the seat. And you won out. Well, I, I'm a little taller. A little taller. <laughs> see, this was a little problem. I didn't know whether to say Chevy Chase and Dan Aykroyd or Dan Aykroyd and Chevy Chase. Now, I've seen ads for the picture. If you read pic right to left, I get first billing. <laughs> That's right. In a Yiddish newspaper, you would be, would be great. Yeah. In fact, the film is in Yiddish. So is it really? You'll actually see my name first. Yeah. How did that work out? You are on the left-hand side now. I think it's just a reflection of... Uh, <laughs> the fact that I'm squatter. The fact that he's shorter, and uh, I'm just a bigger name, I guess, really. <laughs> well, we, we defer. You know, we defer to this, this man, after all. He got me started, and... Uh, no. It's so, what's this? That's uh, oh. a bit too mature. That <laughs> well, you know, I had to go through this recently with... Uh, uh, film I'm doing with Steve Martin next. Right. With, uh, let me just talk about this. Go ahead, sir. In, in which, in which uh, my lawyer called me and said, uh, uh, Steve uh, wants to have first building, and so they decided, you know, Steve would be here and you'd be above, but on the right. I said, well, I, I don't care, that's fine. Uh, makes no difference. And my lawyer said, well, look, when, if they don't care, why don't we just put your name there and put his there? And I realized lawyers do this, and before you know it, Steve's going to think I asked for first sure. building, and I'm going to think Steve did. Nobody ever does that. We never even talked about it. It's the lawyers who do it. It's like a, a divorce. Yeah. Which I know you're familiar with. <laughs> I, I, have lawyers I have lawyers living in the house full-time downstairs <laughs> on the intercom. I like to think that the title is the first billing, really. Spies like us. Spies so, like so. us. Very good. Sneaky, too, Dan. <laughs> I like to... Uh, now, you guys work together. Are, are you good friends? Seriously. Yeah, we really we are. are. You see each He's other socially. He's a terrific that? man. Well, he took care of me the whole whole trip we shot in uh the norway. fjords of norway yeah. and up in uh in, uh, down in, the, in camel breath uh, morocco wherever that was in the desert <laughs> and he and donna every 10 months she go i go a year you were telling me the last time how bright she was at six months that was what I was thinking. she's amazing at, at, right now she's walking uh she's doing a little modeling over at four <laughs> Finished uh, calculus, of course, at the uh, University of Houston, Texas. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She'll be married next year to uh, yeah. Webster. Have you started looking around? One of my writers, Mike Berry, has got a child just put in kindergarten or preschool, and he, the, the child had to go audition or, or have a meeting to see if he or she could get into the school. Because oh, people, yeah. people want to get their children in early. Sometimes people, before the kid is born now, actually go to schools to see if they're kidding. Have you done this? It's pretty good. Yeah, we have, actually. Uh, this is the, the technique, of course, in England. Uh, you know, that Eton and Oxford, you register the child pre-birth. Absolutely. And uh, what do you say? Yeah. What do you th take, take a look at this. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> yeah. a nice kid, huh? Uh, you, have, you have no children yet. Uh, not as yet. Uh, not as far as he knows. Uh, Maybe in the in the cards in, the, in a little while. Don and I, are, of course, you know, very very busy working on these uh, thinking man's comedies. Of course. So, so uh, but uh, it's uh, you know, I think the gene structure is going to hold up here. Well, uh, it certainly helps. Uh, picture referred to as spies. Uh, spy, spies spies arrest. like us. Spies like us. comme nous in French. Any... <laughs> <laughs> nice to know. We'll be right back. Yeah, great. Well, if you watch Late Night with David Letterman, first the show, folks, now the book. Uh, yeah. He and uh, Meryl Markov have put out a very funny book based on the show, and he is also responsible for a special, and we're going to hold him responsible for it, too. This is going to air tomorrow night at 1130 called David Letterman's Holiday Film Festival. Would you welcome David Letterman? All right. All right.
Thank you very much. Well, it's a magic night for America, isn't, isn't it, though? Sure. Stick around, boys. We're not going to pay the band. Yeah. <laughs> My golly, what a, what a thrilling night for all Oh, us. yeah. Did you have a nice Thanksgiving? Very nice, thank you. Yeah, how about you? I, I'm stuffed. You know, uh, it's tradition at our house. Every year we have the roast swan. It's great. We, uh, <laughs> the, uh, I love to see the kids fight over the neck. It's fun. <laughs> Now, uh, I thank you for coming out. Thank I'm you very much for having me. Well, Thanks for making room for certainly, me. Certainly, I, certainly I our pleasure. It. Good yeah. to see you, Dave. Thanks. Nice to see Take you, care. Too, Chevy. Thank you. Get a run? <laughs> <laughs> now, you mentioned the book. Yes, and, I did. Uh, let's, was... let's don't beat it to death. Let me see the book. Yeah, well, I'll... I was... Re uh, originally, this was going to turn out to be a really nice thing. Ooh, by the way, the can you see this? Take a look at all that color. Ooh. <laughs> This actually, Johnny, should be on your coffee table. I should. It's, uh, it's that quality. Uh, you know what they did? They, uh, they printed 40,000 copies of this thing, uh -huh. and there are three pages of pictures without captions. <laughs> Stooge Press put this out. It's a, it's a division of goofball publishing. And, uh, but you know, even, even the lowest publication gets captions with the pictures. Hustler Magazine has captions, you know. <laughs> Here the twins show how they make friends in prison. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um... So we don't see that. No, I was no, no, no. no, no, no. I was, I was, uh, I was looking at that book this afternoon, and it's very amusing. No, well, that's yeah, some funny stuff, but I just don't want to talk about it. Uh, anyway, they screwed up the first forty thousand, and they got a deal. If you go in, if, if you've already bought the book, mm -hmm. which seems unlikely, um, <laughs> they get some kind of a deal. You can, uh, you get a rebate. I don't know, or somebody will come to your home and read it to you. I don't. Know. Is this an, is this an expensive tome? If I wish to purchase this? Oh, it's uh, like eight bucks, nine bucks. I don't know. We like to think of it as another tale of two cities. John. Ah, good, good. But I don't want to talk about the book. I, <laughs> I've seen I've seen into the future of transportation. I've peeked into the 21st century. Oh, that's right. I came out here uh, uh, two nights ago through the aviation miracle of the Airbus. That's right, the Airbus. Now this is a delightful airplane. It was designed and built uh, by the French and the Germans. Yes. And I think we all know what a loving, cooperative relationship those people have had. <laughs> um, it's a uh, it's called the Airbus, one, because it, it, in fact, looks like a bus. Yes. Two, it for sure smells like a bus. <laughs> now, here, here's the difference. The, the Airbus is not quite as fast as a real bus. <laughs> uh, now, what... Does it have the strap handles, too? That kind of stuff, yeah. absolutely. It, like yeah. Ralph Cramden is flying yeah. this thing, you know. <laughs> Is this a cheapy... Uh, oh, geez, it's unbelievable. Flight? But it's, it's so slow. Like, if you fly out on a regular plane, mm -hmm. 747, New York to L.A., what are we talking about, five and a half? If you're late, maybe five, 545. Even yeah. six hours. The <laughs> Airbus from, from, uh, from New York to L.A., six hours and 45 minutes. Gee, unbelievable. I mean, Johnny, the whole trip, we were like this. Woo! <laughs> What's the fuel? Just air? Um, I don't know. I don't know what it gets. But uh, the motto, of course, of the Airbus is uh, uh, jet lag's not a problem if you don't get there. So. <laughs> so the wings. You gotta look out, the, the wings are flapping. Yeah, that kind of deal. Yeah. Now uh, you're saying to yourselves, "Geez, Dave, this is fascinating." But who would fly the Airbus? Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I looked around, and my observation was they got a contract with the government for transfer of prisoners. One, that would do it. Uh, two, the other group flying of people who can't afford trailways. What? And, and three would be serial killers. Wow. Yeah. Now, so I'm sitting next to this... Not a pleasant this, trip. No, no. I'm sitting next to the yammering psychopath, and the guy keeps dozing off on my shoulder. And uh, he wakes up long enough to tell me that that very morning he had been released or paroled from prison. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, oh boy, I can hardly wait seven hours on a plane with a guy who has a grudge against society, you know. <laughs> so now it's dinner time, uh, and they bring around the, the Airbus snack, and it's, <laughs> it's sealed in a container like this. It's absolutely sealed. And you think, well, this would be nice, like a, I don't know, a day in the country, a little picnic. You, you pry it open with a, like a, a fire axe, and inside, <laughs> inside, honest to God, they got like vanilla wafers and a container of hot mustard. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Because after all, it is the holidays. That's right. Yeah. So, now, so in the middle of this is some sort of unidentifiable protein mass. Mm -hmm. Now, if this had been a fishing trip, you'd call the captain and say, oh, uh, I'm sorry, somebody put the chum in here with my lunch. But... <laughs> so, a pleasant trip. No, <laughs> I'm not done Don't yet. Don't call, I should. <laughs> want to give me a nod yeah. when you are, so oh, I... Okay, yeah. Uh... <laughs> I so, feel like George Burns here. <laughs> <laughs>
So you, uh, uh, the plane was designed for people who, who don't fly much. Right. And in fact, for people who don't even know where the airport is. But anyway, <laughs> so they keep flashing this sign, lavatories occupied. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, that's their way of saying, all right, we know the food is darn near inedible. But see, apparently it can be digested. <laughs> so... Uh, Getting close to booed. That's there. right. Uh, so you go into you go into the lavatory, which, by the way, is sloped. The interior wall is sloped, like the outside of the plane. So whatever you have to do in there is a hook shot. <laughs> 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 So, uh, so, you, so. You, you bring back the uh, you bring back the, the lid on the on the toilet there, and there's a sign that says, "Do not place metal or glass objects in the toilet." Yeah, uh, which always ruins a trip for me. I like to go up there. And, uh, it'll wash a load of dishes if I can. Uh, the earbuds. That, thank you. That, absolutely that about, a true that about story. wrap up the airline. We're done with the earbuds. We're done with, we're done with the earbuds. Now look, let's do all that. We haven't, we haven't talked about this highly advertised special of yours tomorrow night. You know, <clears throat> I just wanted to take a few minutes here, John, to talk about NBC. <laughs> uh, first of all, this slogan. <clears throat> Originally, it was be there. Sure. NBC, be there. Okay, they bring in a guy, head of promotion here at NBC, paid him at least a half a million dollars. That's the truth. Well, he ended the guy. He was making about a half a mm -hmm. million. He decides to change the slogan from be there to let's all be there. <laughs> Because, you know, he's thinking maybe there's some people in Montana who are saying to themselves when they see this promotion come on NBC, they're saying, hmm, geez, I'd like to watch, but are we included? <laughs> so, so let's... Oh, no, no, we'll NBC is looking for a very exclusive group of viewers. Not everyone is eligible. <laughs> So, so this guy changes it to let's all be there. Now, the slogan really ought to be, you know, when in the old days when NBC wasn't doing that great, it was NBC, we're easy to spell. And I thought that was good. <laughs> okay, so that now, uh, uh, last... Without PBS, we're coming after you. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> so, uh, what are we doing here? You better plug this. Oh, I got to get the special. Yes. Okay, so here's the deal. So, six weeks ago, NBC comes to me and they say, Don, are you still with the network? I said, yes, I am. <laughs> They said, we, we, have, we have an opening for a show November 30th, uh, 1130. Right. Would you like to do it? And we said, sure, we'd love to do it. We did a show. We got a lot of people to make movies, and they're going to come on and show their movies. It turned out pretty nicely. All right, we shall return. Just a minute. Right. All right, before we say goodnight, all you people in Montana also are invited. Yeah, everybody's included. That sure. is tomorrow night. 11.30. 11.30. Uh, Bette Midler, uh, Harry Shear, uh, Michael Keaton, uh, Andrea Martin, Let's uh, all Catherine O'Hara. Oh, they, they all made films and they'll be on the show. Oh, here's special. great stuff. Yeah, turn out pretty nicely. Tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Chevy. Thank, Thank you. Dan Stenberry, thanks for being with us. Good night.